Howdy folks and welcome to the Hillbilly Kitchen. Today we're making cup of cup of cake. This is an extremely simple, extremely easy, and very tasty dessert. Um, Dolly Parton's character in Still Magnolias made this and in the movie her character said it's so rich that she serves it over ice cream to cut the sweetness and it is pretty rich but it is absolutely delicious and it's surprising how good it is because it's so simple you only need three things and she said it's so easy you don't even need to write it down she said you use a cup of sugar a cup of flour and a cup of fruit cocktail well i cut my sugar just a little bit because she's right it is sweet and i've probably got two-thirds of a cup of sugar you can adjust this as much as you want to and i'm using a whole can of fruit cocktail but now if you're on a tight budget and you want to make your can of fruit cocktail go farther you could add an extra half a cup of sugar at least to make a slightly bigger cake you want to bake this in a 9x9 nine nine or an 8x8 eight eight pan i think this one is a 9x9 nine nine, but it's going to make a small dessert but if you needed something bigger, you could do the um, 8 by 11 I think it is, and add an extra half cup of flour, and it come out just fine. It mixes up easy, and it's super easy to make. You can use the fruit cocktail that's sweetened with Splenda, and use Splenda for your sweetener or something like that. Some non, no calorie sweetener if you need to cut the sugar, and it would be a really low calorie dessert doesn't have any eggs or dairy for folks who are allergic to that, but I am going to use a little bit of butter to grease my pan, and I'm going to start with that. Turn your oven on 350 degrees and let it preheat. And you're going to bake this in a 350 degree oven for, if, if you add an extra half cup of flour, it'd be done in about 25 to 30 minutes. But with the cup of flour and the whole can of fruit cocktail, it's going to take it, 35 minutes maybe even a little bit longer but it'll be golden brown and you can do a cake test on it you know it'll bounce or you can stick a toothpick in it and it come out clean the texture is somewhere between a pineapple upside down cake and a cobbler <laughs> if that makes any sense and it is really good served slightly warm with ice cream and this is if you need a quick dessert for a dinner if you need a quick dessert to take to a potluck at church uh husband brings folks home for dinner or the kids bring other kids home from school and you need something to serve them this is super easy just dump your flour and your sugar in and kind of whisk them together now this is self-rising flour if you don't have self-rising flour you would want to add um per cup of flour one and one half teaspoons of baking powder and about a quarter teaspoon of salt so but I used just a cup of self-rising flour and like I said I did about two-thirds of a cup of sugar anywhere from half a cup to a cup of sugar Dolly said a cup of sugar <laughs> said I like to cut that just a tad but you you know make it how you want to it'll mix up fine either way and I just ain't got nothing to do with you know half cup of fruit cocktail so I'm dumping the whole can in there and this would be really good um, made with diced peaches or pineapple tidbits um, it would be very much like a pineapple upside down cake with pineapple tidbits just dump it in there juice and all don't drain it because the juice in that fruit cocktail is the only liquid and you can use any fruit cocktail I either get the stuff in juice well the stuff in juice I think is a little bit better because it has extra flavor and it's not quite as sweet as the stuff in syrup and the stuff sweetened with Splenda definitely tastes sweeter to me and this is Splenda I picked it up by accident and that's one of the reasons why I cut the sugar a little bit because it would just be too sweet I think but that's me and you just stir it up it's gonna look kind of like this kind of like cake batter with a whole bunch of fruit in it dump it in your greased casserole dish or baking pan you know whatever double it up make it in one of them big old aluminum pans and take it to a church dinner or something but anytime you need a quick dessert that's quick i couldn't talk enough while i was mixing that <laughs> 
and kind of spread it out. Now all the fruit is going to kind of go down toward the bottom and the cake's going to come up toward the top like a cobbler. That's why I said it kind of has a texture between a pineapple upside down cake and a cobbler. Now you can add stuff in here too. You could throw in some nuts, you could add in vanilla, you could add in all kind of stuff. But the basic recipe, flour, sugar, and fruit cocktail or diced peaches, or pineapple tidbits, maybe mandarin oranges. I hadn't tried it with the oranges, but I bet that'd be good. Put this in your 350 degree oven, and Dolly said, until it's golden brown and bubbly. So golden brown and bubbly. Like I said, mix this way. You're looking at 35 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. Okay. Now, it don't really bubble, because I just took this out of the oven. <laughs> but because the uh, flour and the sugar absorb the juice, that's the only moisture in it, like I said. And the fruit all goes to the bottom. This is what it looks like, golden brown. When you touch it, it should spring back. It shouldn't sink in. And you should be able to do a toothpick or a cake tester, and it should come out pretty clean. Um, serve it with a little ice cream. Dust it with some powdered sugar. It's plenty sweet enough to just eat it like this. But slightly warm and a little bit of ice cream. You do want to give it 5-10 minutes before you scoop it out to set and uh, like if you scoop it out right now, it's going to crumble everywhere. Of course, I might eat it like this, but 5-10 um, minutes maybe and uh, cut it. I would say probably nine pieces for one this size and serve it with a little scoop of ice cream. Um, you could drizzle it with uh, some glaze, you know, the powdered sugar glaze. Uh, just dust it with a little powdered sugar or nothing at all. Cream cheese frosting would be good on it. Anything like that would be good with it. Cream cheese and fruits are always good together. So this is an excellent recipe. It is super easy and it's stuff you have in your pantry. Like I said, you don't need any milk. You don't need eggs. You don't need any butter. You don't need any just self-rising flour, sugar, and a can of fruit. And you've got a dessert that folks are going to rave about because it is so good. The texture is wonderful. The flavor is wonderful. And it couldn't be easier. It's back to school time. And this is a really good one for back to school because we need things that are not going to take all day to make. And we need things that are going to satisfy them. We need quick after school stacks. We need quick desserts. We need quick everything when we're running the kids around. So. In the spirit of back to school, I want to share a verse out of Proverbs with you. Probably one of the most important things that you can learn for your success in life, whether you're in school or you're an adult working on a career. Most of us figure it out by this point in life, but choose your friends wisely because the people you surround yourself with will determine who you are in a large part and they will determine your success or your failure. Proverbs 13 20 says, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but the companion of fools shall be destroyed. So choose wise friends, choose godly friends, choose friends who do the right thing because friends can very quickly lead you down the wrong road. And your friends definitely influence the way you think and the way you behave. And like I said, they in large part determine your successes or your failures in life. It's proven with time and God told us so we don't have to test it. Start young with wise friends. Thank you so very much for joining us again in the Hillbilly Kitchen. Try this cup of cup of cake because like Dolly said, it's really good and share our videos with your friends. Until next time, remember to put God first.